8 News. A good afternoon, everyone. Cleveland Heights police are investigating after a Cleveland Heights couple was found dead inside their home and investigators suspect carbon monoxide poisoning. Our Melissa Reed here with more on what investigators are saying about this terrible tragedy. Mel? Well, Bill, this is really still very much an ongoing investigation, but what we can tell you is that the medical examiner's office has confirmed that the couple died of carbon monoxide poisoning, and really this is a tragic reminder of the hidden dangers of this odorless gas. East Monmouth Road in Cleveland Heights is a quaint, quiet street. But according to the Cleveland Heights Fire Department, a couple was found dead inside this home, along with their pet dog and cat. 62-year-old Gregory and Elise Lindsay were discovered Thursday afternoon. And while the investigation is ongoing, carbon monoxide poisoning is suspected. In our case, when you get to 100, if it's in your house, we tell people, you know, get out. According to the Cleveland Heights Assistant Fire Chief Scott Reese, this tragedy highlights the importance of having a carbon monoxide detector in one's home. Along with a smoke detector because one could pick up something. But carbon monoxide does not have a smell to it, so you never know that it's in your house. Assistant Chief Reese says to have any appliance that burns gas checked out yearly and make sure that generators are outside. Do you hear noises on your detectors or whatever? Call your fire department to come out you know, and check them. You know, not in a panic mode, but you want to be always erring towards the safety side of everything. They were really a beautiful couple together. You could see that they had a... Uh, in the meantime, the news has stunned the campus of Case Western Reserve University, where Elise served as Director of International Student Services there. Elise would be running around and working, and her husband would be here and, and uh, would clearly be proud of what she was doing and would be... He would be taking photographs of the students. The Lindsays leave behind three children and a legacy of serving international education behind. A huge sense of shock, both because Elise was so well loved and also because this is so sudden and so tragic. Um, and people are really walking around in, in a bit of a daze today. Now, police say there was no foul play. The Lindsay's death has been ruled an accident. Bill and Tracy, they have three children. I'm being told by neighbors that they were college. They are college students. So certainly a huge loss oh, to that awful. family, and our thoughts are with them. Mm -hmm. All right. It seems like we do these stories every year. When Just again, a reminder, and we talked about the here already. Please check. Check your furnace. Get, mm -hmm. get the detectors. Put them around. And... Uh, it can happen. A lot of people think it won't happen to us. We'll be okay, but it's that one in a million. Be extra cautious. Like this, yeah. Very sad.